Welcome to Charity Village Connects. Today we're celebrating the winners of the 2022 Charity Village National Awards. Joining me today is Elise Shipper of Plio, the winner of the award for Best Contribution to Workplace Mental Health for an Employer with More Than 20 Staff. Uh, Elise, congratulations. That's uh, a terrific accomplishment. Can you uh, tell me about your organization and, and what you do at your organization? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you so much. We're really, really thrilled about this award. Uh, last year, we were a finalist in the same category. And so we were determined this year to do uh, even more and go above and beyond and try to win this year. So we were thrilled when it happened. Um, I'm the executive director of Plio. I have been for five years. We are a nonprofit family peer support organization that helps parents whose children to age 25 have mental health or addiction challenges. So these parents uh, come to us often in crisis. Their children are struggling with anxiety or depression, uh, refusing to go to school because it's just too terrifying, schizophrenia. It's, it's a huge list of, of potential challenges they're facing. And we know of all of, the, all of the pieces that have to come together for this child and this family to be okay, making sure that the parents can be amazing supporters and get support themselves to maintain their own wellness, that's our piece of the puzzle. And uh, we've been doing it for 20 years with really phenomenal outcomes. And um, and uh, so this award is particularly meaningful to us because it's, it's really in our wheelhouse. Mental health is what we do. Well, that's serious heavy lifting. And as I know from doing podcasts about uh, workplace mental health, that a lot of the frontline people like your teams um, would even experience things like vicarious um, trauma from uh, working with uh, people who are struggling day to day um, as part of their job. What do you think really made the difference for your organization in terms of the kind of, um, I guess, supports that you're putting into your workplace that the judges felt really put you on top in terms of um, being um, the recipient of, of uh, the award? Well, I, I think and I, I hope there was there was more than one thing that really set us apart. Uh, like you said, it, it's an incredibly emotionally taxing and difficult job for our staff who are working directly with families. And especially over the past few years, um, they've had so much to deal with on their own, with the way the world has been challenging for us. But also the families who call us have been struggling even more than usual. So we know right from the very beginning, you know, even when we start recruiting that we have a really huge responsibility to make sure that the people who come into this work know what they're getting into and that they're really well supported to be successful in their roles and to be okay in their roles. It's, it's, uh, it's not something we take lightly. So from the very beginning uh, in recruitment, we give these potential staff an, an, an opportunity to kind of experience what the work would be like to have a chance sort of doing, um, you know, a mock phone call on the helpline or part of sort of sharing their own story because all of our staff are parents who've gone through this themselves. And we have an opportunity with them to debrief that experience, to see what it feels like to do it, to be supported by our staff after. So they're really clear. They know, they know what they're coming into. And as much as we do training about, you know, how to be really great as a family peer supporter, we include things on you know, your own self-care and personal and professional boundaries and how to really take care of yourself um, as you do this job so that it's more rewarding than it is draining. My expectation, my hope for our staff is that they finish the end of the day and it's been hard, but it's not a tax on them. Um, they can leave work when they leave work and they can know that the work that they've done is meaningful and has been fulfilling and rewarding. So every step along the way in the way we take care of our staff um, is reflected in, in this intentional priority of the board and of leadership that we need a culture of wellness. We want Plio to be a great pa place to work. And the fact that everybody on our team contributes to that so meaningfully in big and little ways is, I think, the reason that it, it actually happens. They've made it possible. Well, as you may know, we actually um, lean heavily on our um, arm's length experts in mental health care um, to help us. Uh, they're the ones that identify uh, those people that are really doing a spectacular work and doing a great job of building um, 
a workplace that is um, supportive of mental health among their staff. Um, so this is a significant uh, vote in your favor for sure. Um, how did it feel to be named as a finalist and, and actually uh, discover that you'd won the award? Honestly, it was, it still is thrilling. I mean, for me personally, it's a career highlight. I, I am so deeply motivated by our mission and our vision to help families. And my role as executive director isn't working directly with those families who need us. So this is, um, it feels like recognition for me personally, for my part in how I can help those families and making sure that the the workplace that our phenomenal frontline staff are in supports the work that they do. But also, I I know how much all of our staff contribute to this in big and little ways all the time. I mean, just as an example, we had a new wonderful uh, person join our team this week, and everybody made sure that she started her first day with an inbox full of welcome messages from everybody when she got there saying, we're so excited you joined the team. I can't wait to meet you. And, you know, it's a little thing, but it goes a long way. And so knowing that they got to see this recognition in, the, in this award for that work they do, I think was a real uh, boost in morale. And we all need it all the time, but especially this time of year. So um, it's been thrilling just for all of us. That's so wonderful to hear. I'd love to know whether you think that awards like this are are good for the sector or or for your teams. It sounds like you would think so, but I'd love to know why. Yeah, well, for sure for our teams, and I do think they are really important for the sector for a few reasons. Um, I love the nonprofit and charitable sector, and there are a lot of things that we're known for. You know, we're known for being scrappy and for doing for doing a lot with a little and doing really mission delivered mission focused value focused work but i think often the way that our work is measured is in overhead um or efficiency and those things are important of course but they don't really capture what makes this sector so fantastic and i think a big piece of that is how our missions are felt and delivered inside our organizations as much as they are out of our organizations. So to be able to recognize how great we are in that way um, and to be explicit about ways of measuring what we're doing that are more meaningful to people. Well, I couldn't have said it better than that for sure. Congratulations again, and thank you for the amazing work that you do at Plio, and also for coming back and applying again for the award because uh, you certainly you certainly won this time. And and uh, what what a lovely way to celebrate uh, the end of the year and going into the holidays. So congratulations to you, and thank you very much to you and your team for the wonderful work that you do. Uh, to help communities and to make the nonprofit sector a better place. Thank you so much, Mary.